In this video I'm looking at the additions to the copy UVs tool. Okay, so here we've got some nuts and bolts and I've uh, flattened out just this one nut and bolt set there. So that's, there's my UVs for that nut and bolt. And so I don't want to have to do the UVs individually for every nut and bolt there. If I've got a, you know, a bridge or something like that with 10,000 nuts and bolts, you don't want to have to go through and do them all. So the idea of the copy UVs, as you've seen in the other videos, is I just select an edge on this one that I've already done and it'll find all those other nuts and bolts. So let's have a look at that on here. So copy UVs, I select an edge. So what's new is um, this plus option for find all. So previously you could do find same, which is find objects of uh, the same size. So in that case it would find these other, other two nuts and bolts. Um, but it wouldn't find these other ones. That's one's three times bigger, that's half the size. So even find similar was within, I uh, no, 10, 20% of the size. Uh, find all, the new plus option here. Um, so that will just find any object in that scene that shares that uh, topology. So that means the same sort of number of polygons and arrangement. So let's go plus. It's found all those other bolts, space to continue. So um, it's copied the UVs, uh, but here you can see we got some red and we got some blue. So if I zoom in here, so the issue there is we've got, here's the original end cap on that bolt. It's copied the UVs to those other two bolts that were the same size, they're fine. But the bolts that were big and small Obviously we've got some red and blue here, so that's to indicate the UVs will be stretched or compressed. So if we go back here, turn on the texturing, you can see if I have a texture painted on that bolt, it will be stretched out and blurry on this big one and sort of compressed on that small one. So that may or may not be a problem, um, but that's just something to keep in mind. If, if you... Um, want to have a different texture for big bolts and a different texture for small bolts, you can still use the copy UVs and then you'd use something like the rescale. So let's go move scale, rotate. If I go rescale U and V, you can see the, uh, the smaller bolt, the UVs have been shrunk and on the big bolt, the UVs have been enlarged. So if we go back, you can see the relative texture densities are the same now. So that's something you might want to consider after doing copy UVs with that new plus option is you might have to rescale things. Okay, so um, let's undo that. So you can see that's great. It's uh, done the copying, but we've got these shells overlapping now after we've done the copy UVs. So that's because the actual UVs for that object are separate shells. Um, and in this, particularly in this case, we've got a, a a nut there that's not even connected to the bolt and so we'll have to do that one separately as well um, but we don't want these shells overlapping so let's undo that and have a look at our options there so under copy UVs if we uh, stack it doesn't matter they'll just end up on top of each other if we go U or V you have an option now for offset so instead of copying the UVs and just placing them adjacent, which is previously what happened, you can now specify an offset for for um, the copied UV. So if you change that to 1, then we'll, you, know, you can probably guess what's going to happen. If I go to 3, if I copy those UVs, go plus, space, the, the UV, so this is the nut and bolt, so there's the shaft of the bolt, there's the hex end and there's the cap and so the copied UVs are now placed one tile across so we've got no overlapping, we've just got an offset of one for those copied UVs. Alright, so that's um, you can type in a number. Another option, if I undo that is if I don't want to you know, if it's really small, I don't want to spread them out in tiles but I still want them not overlapping you have the option now to select 
a group of shells. It doesn't matter what the shells are. You just it's just a group, and I can go get picked, and it will calculate the bounding box of that select those selected shells and and feed that into the offset. I can edit that again if I want. You know, I don't want 0.34, but I know that that's sort of 0.34 now. I could go 0.35 if I wanted to round it. Um, you had that option. We'll just stick on the default. So what happens now is when I do the copies, they'll be offset by that amount. So if we go to 3, uh, just have to unpick those first. If I go copy UVs, select an edge, go plus, hit space. Now those UV shells, the copied ones, are offset by the 0.34, so there's no overlaps. Um, you might be wondering but there's a big gap there. That's because uh, we haven't done the nut yet. So I need to, because that bolt is one separate object, the nut's not connected, it's floating. So that's a separate object. So we still need to do the copy UVs on that. That one, so I'll select that edge, go plus, space, U. So now we've got, this is the UVs for that first nut and bolt and then because I did the offset there based on that group all the other copied UVs are now offset by a fixed amount and so we end up with a nice grouping of all the copied UVs so you could have quite a complex object here, it didn't have to be a nut and a bolt, it could be you know a nut and a bolt and you know some other plate and something like four nuts and bolts on the plate and some big complex um, like on a bridge might be some bracket you've done the UVs you can still copy the UVs and have a nice non-overlapping sort of grouping of those copied UVs okay so that's um, that's the uh, changes to the copy UVs where we can copy it to any sized object now and you can specify an offset so you avoid any overlapping of those copied UVs.